People who vape may be breathing in different types of fungus and bacteria. Welcome back to Western Mass News 430. I'm Dave Manson. And I'm Beth Ward. A new study out of Harvard found many vape products show signs of what researchers call e-bugs. The study looked at 75 popular e-cigarette products, single-use cartridges, and e-liquids or refillables. Researchers found 27% contain traces of bacteria, 81% contain traces of fungus, what they're calling e-bugs. Researchers say exposure to these microbial toxins is associated with a myriad of health problems in humans, including asthma, reduced lung function, and inflammation. I believe it. I believe it. Kobe, we met, vapes a couple of times a day. This study, he says, won't change that. It doesn't really gross me out, but I still do it. Drew in Chicopee tells Western Mass News the study confirms why he doesn't vape. You know, anything that has chemicals going through it gets fungus, bacteria in it if you don't clean it out properly. At Western Mass Hydroponics in Springfield, a different view. It's natural. It happens to every vape pen, every person. Kayla Coe says it's widely known that if you don't clean your devices, there's some stuff on there. Yes. Bacteria will build up. Bacteria is everywhere. So staying clean and being diligent about how sterile you're keeping your vape, vape pen because it's going in your mouth is necessary. Just wipe out the inside. The CDC says some 10 million Americans vape. Co says here they welcome the new Harvard study as a big reminder for people to clean their devices. It would make a difference. It would make people more aware as to what they're putting in their bodies and how to keep it clean and what other contaminants can get into their bodies. Researchers are narrowing down exact sources of contamination. Co meantime says devices should be cleaned at least twice a week. Now, researchers do say that the cotton wicks used in some e-cigarette cartridges may be one of the potential sources of that contamination. They also urge the new findings to be considered when developing regulatory policies for e-cigarettes. The study can be found in the publication Environmental Health Perspectives.